Welcome back to another Gundam Arsenal base ranked match. Today I mixed up the team a bit this time around. We're going for a, something a bit different here. I wanted to try out some of the new units in Season 3 and a little bit of a different setup. So you can see I'm using Amuro and the Gundam. They are the first unit I deployed. This time around in Season 3, Amuro got a U-Rare variant and a U-Rare variant for the Gundam. Which is basically the highest tier of rarity that you can get. It's very strange that this didn't already exist until Season 3, but yeah, here we are. Anyway, they are red annihilation units, meaning they attack other machines. And you can see I put out the Justice Knight to get these two units off of Amuro to give him a little bit more breathing room since it is a long ranged unit. I want to get Amuro away from them so he can like, take some shots. Because he's fighting two close range units and that's not good. So this other person has a Guff out on the field, the Chimeras with Nicole, and also the Zamel. The Zamel was a pretty surprising unit in Season 3. I don't think anyone expected much from it, but it turned out to be one of the best units in Season 3. It has a really strong attack, and it's great on defense. So to follow up with Amuro, I put out Haman Khan in the Banshee. Haman is one of my favorite Gundam characters, and I keep trying to make her work, and I can't really make her work as well as I would hope. And the Banshee is kind of a so-so unit in Season 3. Uh, Banshee got a U-Rare variant as well, and that's what I'm using here, and it's it's pretty decent. It's not great, it's decent. Anyway, this guy has put out Mikazuki in the Death Scythe. This is a pretty common base attacker, and as soon as he did that, I deployed Char in the Sharzaku in the defense variation. Uh, it's not a super great defender, but because it's a 4 cost, so it's a little high, but uh, it does its job. It does its job. So we activated the Banshee's SP attack, and it was kind of a waste to activate this because the Guff was already pretty low on health, but I activated it anyway, and it actually got a few hits in on the Chimera, so that's good too. Alright, this guy is going to use his SP Death Scythe attack on the base, but once again, I have my defending unit near the base, and whenever defenders are near the base, the damage reduction is pretty severe. As you can see, it only did 46 damage, so... It's kind of a waste on his part, because whenever he did that, it basically wasted an SP attack that he probably could have used to attack one of the units that's actually doing damage to his units instead of the base. And we have Sanders out on the field, finally. He is in the Sandrock Gundam. Sandrock is a solid unit in this series. Uh, it, it's got good HP, good mobility, good damage. Uh, its ability is so-so. It reduces damage from SP attacks. It's, it's alright. But we can see here, it's... It's doing work, it's doing its job, it's <laughs> it's trying to fight the Zamel, but it's not doing <laughs> very much. Uh, I think it's funny how it doesn't get stun locked, but it slows down quite a bit. Anyway, we have the Sandrock doing its SP attack against the Zamel on defense, so hopefully we can get it off the field. And it does quite a lot of damage, but not quite enough to take it down. The Zamel has a lot of HP. And it should have about one more hit left, so we're going to put out the Justice Knight next. Because this person's base will be basically wide open, so it's perfect time to get a base attacker right in there. And there goes his Death Scythe that was attacking my base. Char was taking pot shots at it the entire time, I wasn't even focused on it because I knew it was going to do its job. And finally the Zamel goes down, I don't know why it took so long. <laughs> It basically had one hit left, and it seemed to take quite a while. And his Izak Barbatos combination has taken out my Sandrock, so uh, that's not great because it leaves my Justice Knight wide open to be attacked this entire time. And while I was busy on the right side of the field uh, trying to get rid of his defender, he actually activated, or not activated, he sent out the Guff on the other side of the field and it's been attacking. We have an SP attack on the Justice Knight, and it shouldn't do too much damage because red units don't do bonus damage to blue. 
Yeah, so it did 196. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And I'm just kind of focusing in on the other base here. Just want to see how this fight is going. I want to see how much damage Hamon is actually going to be doing to this. And trying to decide if I should maybe deploy another unit onto that side of the field or go after the Barbatos. I'm actually making quite a lot of mistakes in this match, and I, I don't know why. I guess this is the last recorded match I did for Season 3, so this might have been like a match before I was about to leave the game center, so I'm just like, let's just get this over with. <laughs> so we have another SP attack coming in on the Justice Knight. It seems like this person just wants to get the Justice Knight out of here, which is a good call. It seems like his defender is ready to go out again, but it seems to be waiting. So I deployed Char onto the left side of the field. The Mikazuki Death Scythe combo was coming down that side of the field. And it's a good place to have it, just to make sure I don't get any extra damage onto this base while my red units and their red units are fighting each other. And we've got Amuro back on the field. He'll be fighting the Barbatos, trying to get rid of it. Activating my defender's SP attack against the Chimeras. This actually isn't a great idea. It would have been more effective for Taman and the Banshee. Uh, defenders do not do extra damage to red units, once again, so uh, it does enough, but Haman would have done more damage, I'm sure. And then we activate Shar's ability. He gives a buff to all units around him. Probably should have used that before, but I think this is the first and only match I use Shar Defender. <laughs> so, wasn't thinking about it, I assume. Once again, he's activating Death Ice SP onto this base, even though the Defender is right next to it, so it doesn't do any extra damage. So, once again, kind of a waste of an SP attack on this guy's part. We activated our repair damage, uh, repair time down ability, ability card, I should say. There goes Izak, he's done on that side of the field, and now Amuro is going to move towards the base, and he's putting out the Zamel on defense. This is actually a bad call for him, because Amuro is a red unit and defenders are green. Red units do extra damage to green, so this person's in for a world of hurt. But we're going to put out the Justice Knight one more time. And I didn't bother doing induction here because uh, Shar is taking care of the Death Scythe whenever it becomes visible again, so I'm not worried about that. And my other unit is fighting their other red units, like closer to my main base, so uh, there's no extra damage going towards the base, it's fine. And because his Zamel, uh, his defender, is distracted on the right side of the field, I can get an SP attack in clean on the left side, wide open. And as you can see, it's completely even now. This person's wide open. This guy is in a really, really bad position at the moment. Because if he go, if he tries to deploy the Zamel to the other side of the field, it will probably wouldn't get there in time, and then Amuro would be attacking the other base. So, no matter which way he, what he does here, he's kind of screwed. Got the last few attacks going out. Activated the, S the SP damage down for no reason. <laughs> and as you can see, we edged it out. We beat him by only a few points there, but it was a pretty good match. It went, went in my favor at the very end. Um, I think he was playing a little too conservatively with his defender. He probably should have put it out earlier. Definitely should have waited until the Justice Knight came out, but uh, he was in a hard position. He didn't really have a choice, so. But anyway, that was. The last, the 13th ranked match for now. Uh, I should be recording some Season 4 matches because Season 4 has been underway and I just started playing Season 4. My break from this game is over, so please expect a Season 4 match. There is Shars Counterattack, there is G Gundam, there is uh, and Witch for Mercury, so look forward to seeing those units in the next few matches. Hope you have a good one, stay safe out there, and keep loving Gundam.